Welcome back. Uh, well, as promised, we have our entire research team joining in to help us with CNBC TV 18's top 10 list of stocks. And first up on our list is Z Entertainment. The numbers were on the weaker side. Surbhi is here to give us the fine print. Surbhi, over to you. Good morning. So Z Entertainment reported a revenue growth of 9%, which was ahead of our estimates. But the EBITDA and margins were a big miss. EBITDA was down 70% and the margins came in at 7% versus the CNBC TV18 poll of 10%. The ad revenues was down 10% on a year-on-year -year basis and that was kind of unexpected lines. The management said that the growth was impacted due to FTA withdrawal and also slowdown in ad spending. Additionally, higher investments in Z5 weighed down on the margins. Now, the bigger overhang for Z is the completion of the merger with Sony. On the call, management did say that the merger has taken time to receive approvals and they are evaluating all legal options. The next NCLT hearing is on 16th June, so we'll have more updates then. Thanks a lot for that, Surbi. Well, let's hop across to Reema. She's here to tell us about Vodafone Idea and eClerks. Morning, Reema. Thanks so much for that. So for Vodafone Idea, it's not bad. On the top line, there is a revenue degrowth. Revenues have fallen by 0.8% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, but margins have improved, one. And two, the losses have narrowed. And the losses have narrowed by nearly 1,500 crore rupees on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. So there is good cost control, which has helped the margins improving by 60 basis points to 40% uh, this time. The debt has also come down. So the debt on the books now stands at about 2.1 lakh crore. The reason for the sequential drop in debt is if you remember the government had converted the accrued interest on their AGR uh, uh, on their AGR debt the interest portion into equity that was you know that straight away reduced their debt by about 16,000 crore rupees that said when you look at the other indicators like the ARPUs the average revenue per user or the subscribers now Vodafone Idea continues to bleed subscribers on a quarter on quarter basis their subscribers have come down by 2.7 million and uh, even their ARPU, the average revenue per user, has remained flat. Let me quickly talk about eClerks. Well, eClerks, it's a good margin showing. So on the top line, the revenue is absolutely flat. But look at the margins. Margins have actually gone up by nearly 200 basis points to 25.3%. So tepid on the top line, but good margin improvement. Back to you. All right. Uh, we'll keep an eye on those names. Uh, now, uh, the other uh, two names to focus on from the consumer space is Page Industries and Radico. Page is a disappointment once again. Surbi is here with details. Surbi, morning. Page Industries numbers were a big shocker. They saw a revenue decline of 13% on a year-on-year -year basis, largely led by a volume decline of 15%. The revenues were also impacted due to a weak de demand environment and implementation of their auto replenishment system. The gross margins have declined over 200 basis points on a year-on-year -year basis as they used a part of their high-cost inventory. This also has affected their EBITDA, which was down by 50% on a year-on-year -year basis and margins have declined over 1,000 basis points. Now, next on my radar is Radico Khitan. The numbers were pre pretty decent. They saw a revenue growth of 2.4%, largely led by volume growth in the prestige and above segment. They saw some compression on the gross margin front due to inflationary pressure on raw materials, but that's understandable. EBITDA was largely flat and the margins were down 30 basis points. The volumes for popular segment was down 23%. That, along with re lower realizations in both premium and popular segments, still remains a concern for them. All right, Surbi, thanks a lot for that. Well, let's uh, find out what happened with sale this time, Nigel. Well, you know, Sonia, all this week I've been seeing some metal companies, they come out with good set of numbers and then the stock doesn't react. Mm -hmm. At least for sale, the numbers are weak in itself. You know, and it seems that the shareholders will not like these numbers too much, but the employees would like it. Let's get to the point. Top line, a bit of a miss. EBITDA, a bit of a miss. Margins came in low and profitability as well came in lower. What's the biggest reason for the margin miss? Well, employee cost. That jumped up both on a sequential basis as well as on a year-on-year -year basis, and that's the reason that they have missed uh, estimates. Keep in mind that realizations are expected to go up. They went up, but maybe not as much as expected. Also, coking coal costs have come down, but maybe they didn't get the full benefit of the lower coking coal cost as well. So that explains why the margins uh, have missed. The only good part is they had promised that there will be some working capital release, and that's happened because you have seen that the finance cost has come in lower if you look at it uh, on a, you know, on a quarter quarter basis and the borrowings as well have come down by around 3000 crore so that's the loan positive otherwise the stock should open up in the red but ekta joins us to tell us about some more stocks that she's uh, tracking ekta 
Thanks for that. Well, yes, I'll start with the hospital company Aston DM, where the revenue is up 20%, margins have come off, but the, and the profit is down 26% year on year. But uh, with regards to the Gulf business restructuring, there are some updates. They are indicating that there could be binding bids, likely by Q1 of FY24. So you can probably see that kind of momentum maintained into this uh, today's trading session on account of that. Med Plus, the numbers were better than some brokerage estimates. So revenue was up 30%. Street was anticipating 25% growth, 6.5% margins versus estimates of 6%, and profit of over 25 crores versus estimates of around 15 odd crores. Imami expect the stock to probably be in the red net profit down uh, down significantly on a year on year basis revenue up around 8.8 percent EBITDA margins however have improved domestic revenue growth at five percent volume growth at two percent adjusted for acquisitions the organic revenue was down two percent year on year and lower ad sense spends have however supported the EBITDA ITD cementation net profit is higher year on year revenue is up 40 percent EBITDA is up 75 percent Margins have improved by around 200 basis points year on year. Expect that stock to be in the green. Okay, well, let's do a quick recap then of our top stocks. Stocks with positive news flow. There's Vodafone Idea, e Clerk Services, Aster DM Healthcare, Med Plus Health and ITD Cementation. While stocks with negative news flow, there's Radico Khaitan, Z Entertainment, Page Industries, Sale and Imami. Let's take a short break. On the other side of the break, Amisha Vora of Prabhudas Leela that will be joining in for some fundamental stock analysis. Stay tuned.